Device Assembly Takeoff. From the navigation panel the sidebar on the left, you select the heading for Fixtures and Devices Takeoff, and then go to Device Assemblies. This part of the program contains well over 2,000 assemblies that cover the majority of your branch devices, your switches, receptacles, dimmers, telephone and data outlets, occup occupancy sensors, etc. So we'll take off a few of the routine common, common assemblies here. Under receptacles, flush, wood or metal stud, we're going to select duplex. And then you'll see that they're divided into 15 amp and 20 amp groups. Under each group we can select different grades like spec grade versus premium spec grade as well as different types of plates and covers, plastic, stainless steel, weatherproof, etc. So the first one here under 20 amps, the 20 amp spec grade with a plastic plate, we're going to enter 50 of those. Now the bottom part of the screen just listed the contents of that assembly we just entered. This bottom part of the screen is called the audit trail. The audit trail will always be present when you're doing takeoff so you can see what you've entered, know where you left off if you get interrupted, it's also where you can go to make a change or a correction. If we want to enter some GFI receptacles now, we use the back button at the right to go back one level, open up the GFI folder, and again we're going to select a 20 amp GFI spec grade with a plastic plate and put in 10 of those. The assemblies you see here are the assemblies as they come off the shelf. You can modify the assemblies, either temporarily for a job or permanently in the database. We're going to do a quad receptacle next. And again, it's going to be a 20 amp spec grade and a plastic plate. Now those 10 assemblies generated 10 boxes, 10 plaster rings, and 20 duplex receptacle because it was a quad or a double duplex receptacle assembly. To do some switch assemblies, we go back twice. Up to the top is switches, flush, and wood or metal stud. The first folder there is one gang single pole switches. And again, we'll do a 20 amp spec grade. That's a, like a commercial spec grade. Plastic plate, we'll put in 10 of those. Next, we'll do some three-way switches. So we use the back button again to go down to one gang with one three-way. 20 amp spec grade plastic plate. 10 of those. And then to do a two gang switch assembly, we go back and go down to the folder that has two gang switches with two single poles. 20 amp spec grade plastic plate. Do 10 of those. Now, just a few more assemblies that are just a little bit less obvious, a little bit more difficult to find. We're going to go down to occupancy sensors. These can be selected as priced by the program or quoted. Quoted meaning I'd have to get a quote on the actual occupancy sensors from a supplier. We're going to use the price folder. And we'll just do a standard wall-mounted occupancy sensor. Put in five of those. Again, that's an assembly, so it includes the box and the plaster ring and all the materials we need to install that outlet. Next, we're going to go back up to telephone and data outlets. If I need a telephone stub, under flush outlet box with a conduit stub, I can select the first one, which will give us a four square box with a conduit stub. This is a handy assembly not only for telephone and data outlets, but virtually for any type of a low voltage outlet where you need a conduit stub. Another handy category is the outlet and junction boxes. Lots of different junction boxes and outlet boxes here. If we're looking for a standard J box, it would be under surface with a blank cover. And there's a four square box with a blank cover. We'll put in 10 of those. And just one more. If I need a receptacle, a GFI receptacle that's mounted outside with a weatherproof cover, here we have receptacles, surface, or weatherproof, and then GFI. The first one under 20 amps, a 20 amp GFI spec gray with an aluminum box and a weatherproof that's an in-use cover. 
and put in five of those. Just as a tip, uh, for assemblies that you don't find already set up, look at the video for custom assemblies over here. It's a separate video and it will tell you about building new assemblies quickly on the fly.